I'm Carnivore Soldier and today we're talking about lunches. It's that time of year again and if you're like me you want to pack your kids meal with the most nutrient-dense healthy food you can so they can perform. So to me that's not a standard American diet that is definitely a carnivore diet. So I've got some great carnivore options that you can use in your lunches. A lot of them I found online, some I've come up with myself I'm going to go over them, and many of them have links down below, so if there's some of these items you want, you might be able to buy them off the shelf. So, the first item I want to talk about is homemade mayonnaise. If you have homemade mayonnaise, it gives you a couple options right away. Uh, homemade mayonnaise is super easy. It's very healthy. It's three ingredients, egg yolk, fat, and vinegar. It's super easy to make. I make mine with bacon fat. You can do it with duck fat or bacon fat. There's a recipe down below. You just need a stick blender, and it takes about five minutes. It's the cheapest, best mayonnaise you'll ever have in your life. Once you have mayonnaise, now you have options with tuna salad and chicken salad. Chicken salad you can do with fresh chicken that you make yourself, or rotisserie chicken, or you can do canned chicken. With canned tuna, uh, you want to stay away from canned tuna and oil. You want to get it in fresh water. Uh, the oil they use is going to be seed oil. So definitely stay away from tuna and oil and lean towards the tuna and water. So another option you can do is uh, the chicken fingers with sour cream. My son loves these. So I make these chicken fingers. There's a, a link to a video down below. And the chicken fingers are typically a can of chicken, an egg, and some cheddar cheese. And then you can actually add panko on the outside after you make it. But you basically get the, the mixture of the cheese, the chicken, and the egg. And you roll it up and make rolls. And you put them on parchment paper on a baking tray. That's when you can add panko, uh, pork panko if you want after that. And you bake them at 350 for like 20 minutes and they come out perfect. Uh, my son loves those. And I like to serve them with a side of sour cream that has a little bit of uh, ribbon salt in there. So that's something else you can pack up for your kiddos if you want. They can just dip these chicken fingers right into the, uh, into the sour cream. It tastes fine cold. They don't have to be hot. And your kids will love them. Another thing I like to do is meatballs. So I make meatballs, again, just egg, beef cheese and I put in uh, bacon bits usually fresh bacon bits so I make them make meatballs I like to keep these on hand in the freezer too in a raw state so I'll make half the batch put it in the freezer and then I can heat them up whenever my son wants a snack and then uh, for the ones that go to school I will pre-bake those so they're all cooked put them in the fridge and just drop them in his uh, in his lunch box and he can eat them with his fingers another thing uh, that's great for a snack is uh, String cheese. String cheese is really good as long as you get pure cheese. It doesn't have, you can look at the ingredients, make sure it's clean. And uh, string cheese is really good. Also, cheese wisps. There will be a link down below for cheese wisps. The cheese wisps I use are pure Parmesan cheese. They have no other ingredients, just milk and it made into cheese is all it is. So it's very clean. Uh, very low carb. Uh, deli meat roll up. So what you can do is get the string cheese and then strip it apart so you have some of those strings and then roll the strings of cheese that you stripped out into deli meat. It can be roast beef, it can be ham, turkey, whatever you want to give your kids. Uh, and, and instead of that, you could also use, you know, the cream cheese. You can use the cream cheese in that, and that works as well, giving them some healthy fat with that protein. Uh, another thing you do is ham. You can just dice up ham and put it in there. They can eat that with their fingers or cut them slices. Uh, ham is really popular. Hard-boiled eggs, always popular. You cut them in half, salt them, leave them in there, and they can just eat them with their fingers. Burger patties. I like to fry up burger patties or grill them, and then cut them into squares and throw them in the, uh, in the container, salted, of course. And then they can just eat those with their fingers as well. You know, the key is finger food makes it easy, right? So you want to find things they can eat with their fingers. Last but not least, bacon. Love to make crispy bacon and put it into a Ziploc bag. I call it bag bacon. And then I'll put it in his bag or, you know, give it to him for his lunchbox. He can eat it as a snack throughout the day or he can eat it with his lunch as a, as a side. So that's really healthy, good balance of fat and protein. All of these options are a thousand percent better than the standard American diet of, you know, <laughs> a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or, you know, whatever other food you're sending with them. These are really good options to keep them on carnivore and give them the best quality food while they're in school so they can excel. So anyway, that's all I have. If you have other ideas that I didn't cover, please drop them down below in comments. I'd love to see them. Also, uh, please like and subscribe. We're trying to grow the community. And 
Uh, I have a Discord server you all can join. It's for free. Just click the link, make an account, and you'll be in the server. And I'm on there a lot, so a lot of times you can chat with me or there's even a voice channel. Uh, a lot of good stuff on there. There's motivation, success stories, my stories on there. You can go look at my pictures before and after and during, which I'm still in the process. So uh, I share all that stuff on there. Uh, so other than that, you know, just keep driving on and stay strong. Thanks, guys.